I think we're headed for a general election in Canada in 2024, and I think there's a lot of parallels between this election and the 1993 election that saw the Liberals sweep the progressive Conservatives out of power and start up with a huge majority. In fact, that's what I think is going to happen this time. Um, barring some sort of catastrophe, I think the Conservatives are going to sweep the Liberals out of power and have their own very large majority government. There's an awful lot of parallels. For instance, in 1993, we were at the end of a couple of years of recession and voters were cranky about the economy. I think voters are cranky about the economy now. Housing is unaffordable for most people. Inflation is way too high and the, the Liberal government doesn't seem to be able to do anything to control it. The cost of living is becoming more and more unaffordable every day. And the Liberals' response to that is to increase taxes. So I think that there are some parallels there. There's also some parallels on the national unity front. You remember in 1993, the Mulroney government had just lost the Charlottetown Accord, and that was very divisive in the, in the country as a whole. I think the liberal government is just as divisive now under Justin Trudeau as the Mulroney government was. They have angered the West. They have angered Atlantic Canada now. And I think that this is a recipe for a liberal disaster. But I think the big thing is the carbon tax. I think the carbon tax is the liberals GST. In 1993, the conservatives had just brought in the GST. It was very unpopular, it made sense to economists. There were arguments that we made that consumption taxes were superior to income taxes. The carbon tax too is a consumption tax. There are arguments to be made that that's superior to an income tax but it has become horribly unpopular. And then the Liberals went and made the massive mistake of giving one region of the country a holiday from the carbon tax, but not the other regions of the country. And that has simply blown the cover off of their carbon tax. I think the carbon tax now is every bit as unpopular with voters as the GST was in 1993. And so I think the carbon tax has become the issue that is going to defeat the Liberals. And there's one other parallel between 93 and 2023 that should, should, that should scare the Liberals. And that is, you'll remember, the Conservatives were not being led in 1993 by Brian Mulroney, who had worn out his welcome with voters. They were being led by Kim Campbell, who came in and was supposed to reinvigorate the party a new leader, get rid of the old unpopular leader, bring in a new leader, and she will keep them relevant. They won two seats. Two seats. It was the largest single defeat by any governing party in a Western country since 1900. So the liberals can think, well, let's get rid of Trudeau and we'll bring in Mark Carney or Christia Freeland or, or someone else, and they will save us. I think voters are as tired of the Liberals in 2023 as they were of the Progressive Conservatives in 1993. And I think no matter who leads the Liberals, the election that will be held next year will be a huge loss for them.